name's Randy Blockett. I'm 35 years old. I'm from Joplin, Missouri. I've been fishing professionally since 1986, and I got into it just like a lot of, a lot of young anglers did, you know, reading about it, you watching a lot of fishing shows, and following the tournament trail. My family, you know, they've been very supportive as far as, uh, you know, getting me into fishing at an early age. You know, I was exposed to it ever since I was a small kid. The longer that I've been into professional fishing, you know, the more the support's grown. I think everybody really appreciates the, the way you guys share information. I personally think that is a big change from years ago. Oh, yeah. Bass fishing used to be thought of as a... Uh, well, the, the good old boy around the corner has got these special secrets and these special lures and he's got to do great things uh -huh. with them and, and you and I know that probably wasn't the truth, but that was, again, kind of how the bass fisherman uh -huh. was perceived, but now you will walk up on the stage and, and in front of everybody pretty much tell exactly mm -hmm. what you just got finished doing. Yeah, well, I, you know, I know I have a lot of friends that are still in bass clubs and they are a thousand times more secretive than we are That's out right. in the you know, professional <laughs> FLW circuit. But what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, we can say, well, you know, I caught him flipping a jig and frog, or I caught him on a spinnerbait today around flooded bushes. But that's not the whole story, that, you know, you leave out so much about the angle, the cast that had to be made, you know, the sunlight conditions, you know, the current levels, you know, the, the position of your boat in regards to how, what generated that strike. There are a lot of variables that come into play that you have to capitalize on at the moment right. they take place. Right, and, and so. you can say that right here, but the person listening to that still go, has to go out and actually do it and feel it mm. and, and almost get in the rhythm of doing it. It's something that can't really be taught. Yeah, it? exactly. And it, you know, it's just the lure and the technique and the type of cover you're fishing are usually very minor in the overall scheme of the tournament success that you have.